Hi everyone, this is Terry, and this is Lesson 2 of Editing Stitch Patterns in PE Design 11. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the tools that are located under the Stitches tab, and we'll be talking about Split at Point. You don't see that tool um, being accessible right now because it's grayed out, and I'll explain why it's grayed out in a moment. But before I do that, I want to show you where to find this file and to refer back to the manual where you can read more information. Typically, I don't take something directly out of the manual and recreate it in one of my videos. But I'm doing it today because there's information that is omitted from the, the manual, and I think it will help you to be successful. The design that's selected is this little floral one pattern that is in your design library, and it's this file. It's very small. If you look at it, it is 22 millimeters by roughly 23 millimeters, or in inches, it's less than an inch square. And one of the things that I've done is enlarge this design for the benefit of this video You'll notice that it has satin stitches that are way too large. You will not want to do this and stitch this out because it will not sew out on your machine. But one of the things I do want to show you is when you have a stitch file, and I've shown this in other videos, you cannot access your sewing attributes. If you wanted to change those stitches, you need to convert it to blocks. And when you convert it to blocks, you can select from different region fills, but you will have all of these little blocks that are over here that you'll have to change the stitch pattern on them. We'll delete that because that's not the portion of this lesson. Now what we're going to focus on is splitting the stitches between these two sections so we can recolor it. To do that, what I want to do is to zoom way in so you can see what I'm doing. And not only do I want to zoom in, I want to go to the view, the stitch view, so you can actually see the nodes. The next thing I need to do in order to do this is to select the pattern and then go to the node selection. And we actually do need to make this a little bit bigger, I think, so you can really see it very well. Now that I select it, in order to split a point, I need to select a point. Now this is no longer grayed out, and I can split the design, and you can see that this portion of the design is a separate element. I can now select this portion of the design, and I can select a different thread color, and I'll recolor that pink. Now that it's been separated by colors, how do you join it back together again? I don't have to do this, but I'm going to just move a point back so that you can see where it's separated between the colors and show you how to join it again. I'll click off. If you press your control key and press control home, this is the beginning of this section of the design. If I press control end, I would go to the end point. Likewise, if I selected the red portion of the design, go back to my node select and press control home key or control end key, I can find the end of that design. To join those two points, what you need to do once it's been selected at one of the points, you need to hold down the Alt key. When you do that, you'll see a lot of unusual things happen to, to your screen. Don't worry about that. Just focus on taking the point, and you'll notice when you hold your left mouse button down, you now have a hand attached to that point, and you want to drag it to the X. Once you've done that, it has recolored the design, and you joined it back together again. You can find my lessons on YouTube, and you can subscribe to them so you can see the next lesson that comes out. If you want to get rid of these unusual objects that are on your screen, just click off of it, and it'll go back to normal. Or perhaps your screen doesn't do that like mine does. I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson. Have a good day, and thank you for your time.